Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ken's Travels. Today's episode I want to show you some things that you can take with you on your trip. Uh, that's whether you're at the airport, once you're on the airplane, or even once you arrive to your destination to make things a little bit easier for you on your trip. With that said, first up I want to mention the passport book. Uh, basically it carries your passport in it, but you can also put up the four credit cards or whatever in here. And you also can put money inside of the pouch there. The reason I do this is you can kill two birds with one stone. It works as a passport holder as well as a wallet if you want versus just your wallet where you can't carry your passport in. Anytime you do go on a trip, I would strongly suggest that you put your wallet in your front pocket because a lot of these countries have a ton of pickpocketers and you don't want to become their next target or their next victim. I'd say put it in your front pocket. If you want, you can get a dummy wallet, put it in your back pocket, put a not so nice note in there so that when they steal the wallet and think they hit the jackpot, all they're going to do is get a nasty note from you. I'm sure they're going to be pretty pissed, but it'll be pretty funny for them trying to steal from you. With that said, because there is so many people who like to uh, steal from you on trips, one of the things that you can get is this pouch here. You can get these right off of Amazon. And as you see, it opens up and it has a bunch of little different slots where you can put things in here like a charger, you can put uh, money in here, coins, your passport, or even that uh, passport book I just showed you. There's even also a uh, slot on the back too just as well. And the cool thing about it is that you can put it over your head and that way uh, you can have it sitting right in front of you out in the open if you want or if you want you can put it on the inside. So if someone's sitting there trying to steal from you, they're never going to know that you even had this on you. And so it's a great deterrent too, just as well. But also in addition, uh, you know, if some people overseas, they try to take a razor blade and they try to cut your strap, whether it's on your book bag or this, for example. And if somebody tried to cut it and it's on the front of you, it's going to fall to the ground. You're going to see something if it falls right in front of you versus if they did it from behind. In addition, I always take a book bag, but in this case, I have a smaller book bag too, just as well. Uh, it's just a little mini baby book bag, and again, it has slots. This is for something where, like, this little pouch here, it's not going to carry some of your bigger items. So, like, I would put, like, a, a tablet in here or something, for example, like, while you're on your travels. And also, the same as the other one, you can uh, just put this over the front and carry it like this versus carrying it in the back where somebody could just take a razor blade and cut it. So, this comes in hand too. Next up we have a power torch or a power bank. Uh, I'm sure some of you have seen these before. This one is a 20,000 mAh. I think a lot of the phones are about 4,000, 5,000. So this can charge my phone up about three, four times while I'm out and about. It comes in great use because the last thing you want to do is when you're out of town or out of the country is for your phone to die. When you need Google Maps, etc. to get around. You might forget how to get back to your Airbnb or anything. So this comes really in handy. Um, I think we're going to actually get a second one of these because they're super convenient. Um, it cost me about, I'd say $20, $22 on Amazon. I don't ever leave home without this. Uh, when I was in Paris, my phone was about to die, so I had to go in there real quick and look at Google Maps to try to recite in my head how to get back home, and then my phone did die, but thankfully I did check before the phone died. You don't want that to happen to you. And next up, we have a universal uh, adapter and basically what this is a lot of people don't know when they go out of the country that different countries have different outlets from the United States so uh, you definitely want to get one of these and there's some where you can get one specifically like London has their own adapters in London uh, the rest of Europe has their own adapters so this one is like a universal one where it has a bunch of different countries if you uh, look up close you can see on there it says uh, like the EU, Australia, UK, and uh, USA. So basically what you would do is, let's say if you were in the UK, you would take this and you would slide it out. And what that does is it'll pull out the adapter for the United Kingdom. Um, and of course, in this case, uh, I selected the uh, US one because I have it upside down, but you know, this is the normal standard one for the US. However, what's cool is that they have this little button here on the side and you press that in and you can push it back in. So now we'll get to the uh, Europe one, slide it out. As you can see, this one is a little bit different from the United States. So you wouldn't even be able to use any electronic devices or plug them in if you didn't have this. Uh, if we go to the next one. The next one, we have the UK. You can see this one is really weird looking, uh, as you see that there. And basically what you would do is, once you plug it into the outlet, then you would take your cord and you would plug it into here 
and that's how you recharge your devices. What's also cool about this thing here is that, let me put this back in. What's also cool is that as you can see on the side here, it also has uh, three USB ports and also has a USB type C port. So you can charge up to five different things with this adapter. You can get this two off of Amazon, it costs about 20 bucks. And it's a lifesaver, I definitely say don't leave home without this. But that said, also you would want to have uh, chargers, and because of that adapter that I just showed you, where you can charge up to five different things, you may want to bring a couple different chargers, or definitely a couple of USB cords or uh, USB Type C cords, etc., so that you can so that you can charge up all your devices instead of charging them up one at a time. Next up, once you're on the plane, uh, some things that are being convenient for you, of course, an eye mask. Uh, basically, you know. People shut their uh, window blinds, etc. But at the same time, you want to be able to just be in comfort. Some people have their reading lights on or, or might be playing some type of devices or watching movies, whatever. So you can tune all of that out with this. Next up, ever go in the room without your pillow? Uh, let's face it, when you're on an airline, basically airlines suck. Uh, it's especially when you're on a long haul flight. It really sucks sitting in that ch uh, chair and that seat is very, very uncomfortable. Your legs start hurting, your neck start hurting, your back starts hurting. So you can use anything that you want to try to make it easier. I would suggest getting one of these. Of course, I had the rep for my city, go Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, hopefully, we'll do well this year without A, B, and maybe on. And they also have some other cool things that you can use uh, for trips. I've seen this thing on Amazon where you inflate it on the plane and then you put your arms into it like this. And then there's a head rest where you can just sleep like that on the plane. There's also these things where there's like straps that you can put onto the tray. And then you raise your legs up in the air and it'll elevate your feet. So, I mean, whatever works for you is convenient. Again, you can go on Amazon and look at some of these, some of these things. Uh, whatever works for you. Next up, I don't know about the rest of you, but anytime that I go on a flight, I absolutely cannot deal with the popping that goes on in my ear. Some people say they never experience I experience it on every plane, every flight. I can't even deal with the popping for a flight that's an hour and a half. So you can imagine if there's a flight that's 8 to 10, 12 hours, etc. It will drive me absolutely crazy. So what I always get is these things called airplanes. Uh, you can get these at Rite Aid, CVS, Amazon, etc. They're about 9, 10 bucks. Uh, you basically put them in your ear before takeoff and then you take them out and you put them back in your ears again before you land. Uh, these have been lifesavers for me and if I do get any pop it's very very light and it's not a big deal or a big issue for me anymore. Next up on your flight, um, a lot of times at airports they won't let you carry anything over uh, three ounces. So what you can do is get something like this and you know some of the things that you want to take that you know you're not going to be able to just dump them in here whether it's uh, liquids, whether it's cream, it could be hair products, it could be facial products, etc. You can just dump them in here. Uh, I got this from Dollar General, it was only a dollar. So you could stack and load up on these and take as many of these as you want. Next up on your trip, I would say uh, take you a book. Uh, something basically on these trips they're boring if you're not going to be sleep I mean you want to just have something constantly to occupy your mind and of course always reading a book if it's a good book gets you all caught up into that and you know you can see the time fly next up any trip you want to have as many distractions as possible so you know you might want to watch Hulu, Netflix so of course you want to take your phone uh, of course you want to go into Netflix or different apps and you want to download the movies ahead of time because a lot of times these flights don't have Wi-Fi and where you don't want to pay uh, to use their services. So basically you just want to take something with you to make it, you know, a little bit more enjoyable. So my phone is hooked up right now so I can't show you that. But also what I like to take is... Uh, take my iPad Pro and I know some of you probably think that this is a little bit extra and why would you take this huge thing but basically this is what I do when I use uh, when I edit all my videos so it comes in handy with the bigger screen uh, so it's a necessity for me because there's no way I can edit these videos on my phone with my eyes next up I uh, also take my iPad mini and I know some of y'all are really going to think that I'm extra now taking all of these tablets and the phone and the reason I take this is because I can take this with me on my daily travels uh, basically, I can look at my itinerary on here. I can use Google Maps if I want. Uh, I also bring my Apple Pencil in case I want to jot something down if I don't want to put it in the notes on my phone. And basically, these are things just to make it a little bit convenient. 
Also, this helps is if your phone is about to die, for example, while you're charging it up again, you can use your tablet now. You can continue watching Netflix or Hulu or playing games or whatever it is. Then once your tablet gets slow, you can go back to your phone. So you want to have multiple things that you can do. And also, we all know that these electronics eventually die. So in this case, you just want to be able to have a backup plan. Next up, another thing that I like to take is my Nintendo Switch. I mean, you can take whatever you want, a PlayStation Vita, Vita a Game Boy, or just use your phone to play games. Uh, this helps in a lot of ways to pass the time. Uh, basically, I download a bunch of games before I leave, and that way, you know, once you get caught up into a game, it's really, really good. The time can fly. I also take my uh, Switch controller. That way, uh, you can just put the switch onto the table tray, pop out the kickstand, and then take your controller and just play that way as well. Listening devices. So obviously, you want to have uh, earplugs. You may have corded ones. I got rid of corded ones a long time ago. I just can't deal with it unless something breaks or I lose it. I'll never use those again. Uh, basically, so I want to take my earpods. Uh, these are cord because when they're about to die, they charge back up again really quick. And I also bring a secondary audio uh, device and I take my beats with me. So when the AirPods die, I can use my beats. If the beats die, I can use my AirPods, etc. And you know, I can alternate between the ones that I want to use while the other one is charging up. Right, in addition, I also take my uh, Switch USB Type C. You don't have to just use this for Switch. Of course, USB Type C, you can use these for anything, but this is to charge uh, up my Switch uh, while I'm on the road. And also with the power bank, you know, I can charge up the Switch, the iPads, the iPhones, any device that comes with the USB C that you can charge up. I also take this. Uh, I don't know if I should be showing this or not, but anyway. Basically, if you're on the plane to make some of the time go back, you don't want to use any of that stuff, any of the games, any of the iPads, and you just want to sleep, take you to Ambien. So you can be knocked out and relaxed, and you can just be in a chill mood and just feel like heaven while you're on that plane or once you get off the plane. Now, once you're actually at your destination, or you can do it on a plane at the airport, etc., uh, we live in a social media age now. It's as simple as that. People are Facebooking, Instagramming, etc. And so it's just the world we live in. Um, can't control that. So, with all that said, of course, you want to take your selfie stick, put your phone on here, you can pop it out, look it up, take your pic. Um, another thing that's cool about some of these selfie sticks is that they have tripods. So like a lot of times on trips that I took before previously, I was by myself. This time I'm not going by myself. And you basically can stand this up. And what I had to do was sit at a distance away and I would have to take a pic myself because there was nobody else there to take a pic if I didn't ask anybody. Uh, what's cool about this one is that it also comes with a Bluetooth remote. And basically, so once I set up the tripod a distance away, uh, when I'm ready to take a picture, all I have to do is press the button on the Bluetooth, or I can just press it to start a video. And you know, that way you can do these type of things when you're by yourself. With that said, as you know, um, I never intended to do YouTube videos when I started doing this travel stuff, but I decided to now. So as time goes by, I want to get better with it and get more professional. And with that said, I know some of you are really going to think this is extra, but like all the YouTubers use it, etc. So I just had to go and invest in this. It's basically a DJI Osmo 2. It's a gimbal. And basically what it does is it stabilizes your phone, so it's not all that jiggly puff stuff. Uh, <laughs> You basically want to use this to have more professional looking videos. I'm actually using one now, recording this. Uh, these things are cool too because, uh, let's say for example, like this picture in this frame that you're seeing right here. So let's just say you still have a big background and you can't get all of that into the one picture. One of the things that this can do is it will take nine pictures. So it'll take top left, middle, top right, middle, 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 bottom left, middle, bottom right. So it'll take nine pictures. And so it'll get all of that into one picture and then it will stitch it all together into one picture, which is really cool. Uh, you also can use tracking where you just draw a square like around my face and it'll track you wherever you go. So if I was walking over here, it would follow me. If I was walking over here, it would follow me. If I was walking around the room, it would follow me. I don't have it on now, so it's, that's why it's not tracking me. 
Uh, some of the other things that it does is it does like motion lapse, time lapse, hyper lapse, if some of you know what that means. It's a really cool thing and it comes in uh, handy. You can also use attachments for it such as a light or a microphone, etc. So if you want to do interviews or record things of other people. So like I said, it's really convenient and comes in handy. With that said, that's all that I can think of at the time for things for you to take. Uh, what am I missing here? What are some things that you like to take? Let us know in the comments, like, subscribe, and until the next time, peace.